but Ritos require you to think, Ritos will require you to be fast. <laughs> Anna is already shaking her head. <laughs> Why is Lake Malawi known as the Calendar Lake? Hello and welcome to Bouts and Pals right here on NBC2 on the go. Yup, we are back baby and it's gonna be an amazing time. Alright, so today is gonna be great. We are going to have two teams as usual and these guys are gonna go head to head battling it out in three challenges first it's gonna be the trivia segment where we get to see if they can answer some simple trivia i mean hey and then we're gonna go to riddle me this where we're going to see if they are smart quick and we're going to finally check out the pal test where we're going to see if these guys know each other really well now i'm your host patience papando it's time we get to know our teams we're gonna get to know our teams first before we get into a lot of things on my right side the red corner i have asante and patrick also known as santino and sleepless night yeah. that is more like it and this side i have chiso mm, did i get it right chiso yes and women. Do you guys have any nicknames? <laughs> <laughs> but give yourself some fire, girls, because this is a blue team. <laughs> All right, we know our teams, and now we're gonna get to trivia. All right, it is now time for trivia. And I'm going to start with the blue team because, well, ladies first. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah. Just some more and open this up, so <laughs> All right, first question to the blue team. <coughs> Where in Malawi do we find the Table Mountain? Is it A, Blanta? Is it B, Chiladzu? Is it C, Cheu? Or is it D, Zomba? Are you sure? Correct! Two points to the blue team! <laughs> we found the Table Mountain in Zomba, Malawi and that is our lovely plateau there. And of course, we're gonna go to the red, red team. team. Yes! Red team, where in Malawi do you find Ngala Yabagamu? Is it A, Lilongwe? Is it B, Data? Is it C, Jinji? Or is it D, Doa? I'll go for Jinji. Unfortunately, that is wrong. Second try. The questions are the answers. Where, the answers. A. Where do we find Ngale Abagama? Is it A, in Lilongwe? Is it B in Deza? Is it C in Chinji? Or is it D in Doa? Well, we've cancelled in Chinji, so is it Bilungwe, Deza, or Doa? Deza. Wrong. Doa. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that is also the wrong answer. The blue team, the red team, rather have lost this one. We find this in Lilongwe, right where we are. <laughs> to the blue team, the yellow oleander flower is an extremely toxic plant. True or false? <laughs> Unfortunately, that is the wrong answer. It is an extremely toxic plant. That statement was supposed to be true. And we're just gonna go ahead and look at the red team. Red team. Malawi is home to over 400 species of orchids. True or false? Ooh. That is the correct answer. Two points to the red team. Ooh. Amazing. Looks like you guys are tired, so hey. 
think it's going well, yeah? <laughs> um, question number five, which is going to be number three to you guys. What is the world's largest mammal? Is it A, the African elephant? Is it B, the grizzly bear? Is it C, a hippo? Or is it D, a dormouse? What is the world's largest mammal? Is it the African elephant? Is it the grizzly bear? Or is it the hippo? Or it could be the door mouse. Which one is it? Correct! Two points in the two team! And of course, our red team, I have one just for you. What is the collective noun for giraffes? <laughs> Your patience. What is the collective noun for giraffes? Is it A, tower? Is it B, column? Is it C, herd? Or is it D, gang? A, tower. B, column. C, herd. Or D, gang? No. <laughs> okay, so what is the collective noun for giraffes? giraffes. You know, giraffes are really tall, yeah. you get, yeah? So is it A, tower? Is it B, column? Is it C, herd? Or is it D, gang? I hate those giraffes, I guess. What, no, that was already what he said. A. So we already canceled that one. Did you say? A. A tower of giraffes. That is the correct answer. Two points to the red team. We are going on and it is just fine. You guys are still tired, I guess. We're getting to history, so get ready, ladies. In 1915, <laughs> in 1915, there was a revolt led by a pastor against the British colonial rule, killing three white settlers. Which uprising was this? Was it A, the Juambo uprising? Was it B, the Terengana rebellion? Was it C, the Chilembe Uprising, or was it D, the Kazin Rebellion? Okay, was it A, the Chiwambo Uprising? Was it B, the Terengana Rebellion? Was it C, the Chilembe Uprising? Or was it D, the Kazin Rebellion? Wrong. Second try. I love the Correct. Two points to the blue team. Don't be scared. <laughs> and also, please move a little closer. All right. Yeah. To our red team. I hope you're gonna have sleep this night because of this. Just saying. Um, the first female president of Malawi was in office from 2012 to 2014. Who was she? Was it A. Rose Chiwambo? Was it B. Patricia Gagliardi? Was it C. Joyce Banda? Or was it D. Samia Salu Hassan? Joyce Banda. Hey. <laughs> Two points to the blue team. And now we are about to finish the trivia segment. And this is going to be fun because we are going to space. Uh, are you guys ready for this one? To the moon. We're going to space. Ladies, I hope you're ready for space. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like that. That's a really straight and honest answer. Okay, space question. Saturn, the planet, has a hexagonal shaped storm. True or false? <laughs> Think carefully about it. Yes? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> you can walk on Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune, even though they do not have a solid surface. True or false? False. Are you sure? Yes. All right. <laughs> Looks like we are tied. We are so tied in this segment, the trivia segment. What an amazing time just getting to see these guys battle it out in trivia. And now we're gonna go to Riddle Me This. It is time for Riddle Me This. And these guys are gonna answer some riddles and it's gonna be 60 seconds to answer one riddle. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah. Are, you guys ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Ready! Okay, amazing. Alright, so what we're gonna do in Read Me This is you have five questions and you get 60 seconds to answer each question. Now the question is open to all teams. You can answer the question if you know it. But you have 60 seconds. If you are the first to answer it correctly in 60 seconds, two points go to that team. This is where you steal the points, ladies and gentlemen. Because if you're faster than the other team, it's gonna be great. Yes? All right. Are we ready for our first riddle? Yes. Are we ready with the... So, our first riddle is... <laughs> what can go up a chimney down but can't go down a chimney up. Let me repeat that. What can go up a chimney down, but can't go down a chimney up? Small. No. It's something you can touch. No. Ladies, ten seconds. All right, five, four, three, two. One. Unfortunately, our teams did not get that one, but the answer for that one is an umbrella. Uh -huh. <laughs> the answer for that is an umbrella because an umbrella can go down a, chim a chimney when it's down, when the umbrella itself is down, but it cannot go up when it is up itself. Exactly. So that was a hard one, but we still have four more riddles to get to, so let's get straight to it. Riddle number two. What two things can you never, never eat for breakfast? Lunch and dinner, I guess, or so. Correct. <laughs> two points to the red team. <laughs> Amazing. I, uh, that was quick. Good. <laughs> Our third riddle. What kind of room has no doors or windows? What kind of room has no doors or windows? But 
that's a good one. That's a good choice. No, it, it has openings. <laughs> what kind of room has no doors or windows? Five, four, three, two, one. Unfortunately, <coughs> that is time. But the correct answer for that one is a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it was so tricky like oh my gosh I'm not gonna guess mushroom but egg was also nice unfortunately it is not a room here the key is the room exactly so that's why that's how you felt that one but we are still moving on and we're gonna go to our other riddle hmm this is easy actually at least that's what I think how much dirt is in a hole that's two feet by three feet How much dirt is in a hole that has that's two feet by three feet? Nine. Correct. None. The answer is none because there is no dirt in a hole. You probably dug it up. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So um, that is good. We have two points with the red team and two points with our blue team. This is the deciding riddle. Yeah? So this is a riddle that's going to decide who is going to be leading or not before we get to the POW test. All right, teams. What can you fill? Oh, sorry, let me say that again. What can fill a room? but takes up no space. Mm. No. But that's, what, that's also interesting, that's really interesting. What can fill a room, but takes up no space? What can fill a room but takes up no space? Because when you think about it, you're thinking, uh -uh, everything takes up space, but we really didn't consider the light. Um, I mean, air was a great choice as well, but the thing about air is it is matter and it actually takes up space, only that you are able to manipulate the matter and take up its space at any time. But anyway, that is what we had in Read Me This. It looks like the blue team is taking the lead. our to our read of me this segment so next up we are going to the pow test all right this is the part where we get to see if these guys know each other really well and we're twisting things up a little bit in here because we want to see if these guys can answer the questions in a quick way <laughs> and also if they can answer the same question let me explain because that might be a little bit confusing so here's what's gonna happen I'm gonna ask a question about a friend one of the teammates and all the teammates are going to have to answer at the very same time now what I require from the teams is that one if I ask whether this question goes to member one, if I ask that question, I'll give them three seconds. And if the answers do not match in three seconds, these are the answers that they're going to voice out, by the way. If they don't match in three seconds, then they lose a point. But if they say the same thing, then they get 
two points and we're gonna have five questions for each team and oh before you say it there are gonna be different questions on each team so let's get to it now which ones should I start with I'm gonna start with the ring yes <laughs> perfect perfect okay red team I'm gonna count down for you yeah but I'm gonna say yeah okay when is Santino's birthday? Three, two, one. Today is my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> when are you a giant? <laughs> okay, unfortunately, that is actually wrong uh, because you did not say the same thing. You, your words didn't match. But of course, the days did match. Unfortunately, I'm not in my grace uh, period now. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, okay, one point, but November and May are too far apart. Okay, question number two. Where is Patrick's home village? Three, two, one. Ah, you didn't say it. You hesitated. That is a huge problem. We're going to go straight to our other question. That's going to be, what's Santino's favorite team? Correct! Oh, yes. <laughs> Two points! <laughs> come back, come back, come back! <laughs> Alright, you see, I, 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 I just knew that was going to happen. Um, what is Patrick's dream job? Three, two, one. They try. <laughs> <laughs> Santino's favorite movie. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I want to say that that is actually correct because they all went like, ah! <laughs> but I'm gonna need something tangible at the end of the day. So, what's Santino's favorite movie? Three, two, one. Yeah? Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> can you explain that? He doesn't like what you Really? Yes. Okay, amazing. I'm going to give you guys two points because I did like that. Two points to the red team. And now we are going to the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, ladies. Yeah? <clears throat> How long have you guys been friends? Three, two, one. Two years. <laughs> I'm gonna need you guys to say it off the dot. Okay. Um. What is Wema's favorite color? Black. Correct. <laughs> what is Chisomo's favorite song? Three, two, one. I like it. Correct. Oh. What is Wema's favorite food? Three, two, one. Chisomo's favorite food. What is this one? Three to one. BMW. Wow. Okay. If you are not blown by the, I mean, <laughs> that was amazing, ladies. Oh my gosh, a clap, guys. I mean, for this time, that was, that was amazing. That was great. I loved it. And the guys. Also did well. I don't want you to feel like you didn't. You did well. I mean, to the point where your friend knows that you have no favorite movie, that is great. Okay, so we are going to go to the results. But before we do that, let's have a little <coughs> chat. Okay. So guys, yeah? You guys say you've been friends for two years. How has the experience been? Being friends. What's it like <laughs> being friends with Wema or being friends with Chiso? Mm, it has been nice. Yeah? Yeah, although like, um, you know, there are always like, some ups and downs in the relationship, yeah. but it's just the best experience. Amazing! <laughs> you have a, is something to say? Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> like, it's, it was, it's really nice meeting her. We are in a friendship with people, we, we fight, we do whatsoever, but uh, as long as I need her, she's always there for me. Oh, amazing, amazing. Now we're gonna go to our red team. What's it like being friends with 
Santino or being friends with Sigler Slides? Oh, it's a blessing. He's like a brother. He's Aww. always there for me. Mm -hmm. Gives me, I should say, everything, whatever I need. Oh, he's okay. a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> That's deep, yeah. right? What's it like being friends with Santino? Hey, he's just amazing. Yeah? Like, he's just more than a friend. He's like a brother. He can go stay well for many times. Oh, okay. That is beautiful. <laughs> wow. What's the secret to your friendship? What do you think keeps you guys going? Yes, we have the same vibe. Okay. We have the same vibe. We all like music. Okay. Music. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. What's it like, guys? Uh, what's like? What keeps you guys going? I mean, you say you have fights, but what at the end of the day means you're like, okay, we had a fight, but we're gonna go on with this. What keeps you guys going? Like making videos. Ah, ah! I need. We need to see those. Yeah. You have to show us those yeah. videos. If you don't, I will find them myself. <laughs> Amazing. Now you have just heard that these guys are like brothers and these girls love each other no matter what uh, fights, whatever comes their way. But guys, it is time for the results. And did I mention that the winning team gets pizza? <laughs> yeah, for the first time ever, we're gonna hand out a pizza for about some pals because these guys are gonna do so great and they did so well. So we're gonna see that after the results. All right, it is now time for the results. Now we get to see the team that's gonna be enjoying a large pizza at Kips. All right, are you guys ready? Yes. Oh, come on, you guys are already ready. <laughs> are you guys ready? We're ready. Yes. All the points. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Okay. No disappointments, yeah? No. <laughs> Everybody did their best, they did great, and we're just gonna have some fun. And I'm, oh, I hope you had fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, getting to the points and the points, the red team, the red team has 40 points. <laughs> Amazing. I have seen teams get less and you guys have done really well. And the blue team. The blue team has 20 points. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Congratulations to our blue team. The ladies have got this one. Are you gonna make a video? That's yeah. it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that is just amazing. Congratulations to the blue team, and of course, congratulations to the red team as well for coming out here. You guys win a large pizza, pizza. <laughs> and we're gonna head out right now after this to get to that pizza. So. You're gonna have to see that. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining us for Bouts and Pals right here on ABC2 on the go. I'm your host, Patience Papando, and it's always been um, it's always amazing to have you right there to watch this amazing program. Appreciate you guys for coming through. It's always amazing, and I know that we also had a lovely audience here. So shout out to the audience. <laughs> For joining us as well. Now we have been. This has been actually Patrick, Asante, Patience, Wema, and Chisomo. Join us again next time for Bout and Pals on ABC2 on the go. Until next time, guys. This is goodbye. Riddles require you to think, riddles will require you to be fast. <laughs> Anna is already shaking her head. <laughs>